Hello everyone, my name is Rome and you're back in my kitchen in Seattle. And today we're doing something that's very special, childhood classic for me, okay? Something my mom would make for me and my siblings growing up for just like milestones in our life, okay? Whether it's graduation, cookouts, barbecues, all these things, all right? This is the brand that we would use. We're not getting paid for this. There's no, you know what I'm saying? It's from the kindness of my heart, from Nella to you. And what I'm gonna be doing is trying to just pay homage to this. The recipe, pretty much the recipe that's on the back of Nella pudding. She would put a little bit of nutmeg on top, a little cinnamon, a little spice, a little nice, okay? So this is just me paying homage to that and trying to recreate it show you how I make banana pudding as a grown ass man, okay? So let's get to it. My mom will always use the vanilla flavor jello pudding box. I know that they do make a banana cream one, which I think goes with the vanilla wafer one, but growing up we will always use this, so that's why I have this. I'm gonna be making it for you how we had it as kids. Some milk, there we go. Now the color's changing. Mix for two minutes. So it becomes stiff. Thicker than a pack of Snickers, okay? So it says to let this set for about five minutes. So I'm gonna throw this in the fridge, let it set, uh, start chopping up some bananas, getting the cookies ready, Dale. Alright, so when it comes to Nella wafers, okay, this right here is a classic. You can't make banana pudding without Nella wafers, okay? And one thing for sure I know I wanna do, uh, for my recipes, I'm gonna keep using Nabisco brand Nella wafers. You can use off-brand too, doesn't really matter, but I will not be making my own Nella wafers. Just a heads up. Cause this is good, you don't mess, sometimes you don't have to mess with a, with a good thing, all right? You got a lot of like exposed places. I think this just helps the wafer soak up all that good, good, okay? Let's taste it. Very soft. Kind of melts in your mouth as you're, as you're working it around now, okay? I'm getting vanilla and sugar, that's really it. Super straightforward cookie. Put in a set, it's looking nice, unctuous, and creamy. A little jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Those are the Jason Derulo, okay? Creamy, vanilla y, cold. Okay, it tastes like ice cream, honestly. So we have everything we need. Cookies in a little container for easier access. Bananas. We're just gonna assemble, okay? First, we're just gonna do cookies. And I'm filming alone today, all right? Banana pudding is something you, you could eat alone, okay? And it just heals your soul, okay? Soul food. That's what we're doing here. Bot bananas, boom, some, I mean cookies, some bananas, so all throughout like that. I'm gonna have a good amount. I just use four bananas because I just like bananas. This is not the recipe that's on the box either. The box recipe shows you how to make your own pudding. So this is just like my mom would freestyle it just like this, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with that, all right? Fight me in the comments, I'm ready. Hit it with a little bit of that pudding dough. And that way, these cookies will just sop it all up, okay? As you let this sit, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna finish off this pudding. This right here can feed the whole bloat, okay? Bring this up to the bloat, the bloat party. They ain't gonna be like, yo, you made the damn pudding, kid? Oh, man. man, my grandmother can make you a plate, though. We got something over there. You just go, go ahead. Oh, we got some banana pudding. For best results, you're gonna wanna let this sit for a few hours, okay? That's the best way you wanna serve this, in your fridge, cold. All right, guys, let me tell you what goes into my banana pudding, okay? The ingredients are very simple, and everything that I'm gonna be showing you here for my dish that I'm making banana pudding in is gonna be a two times batch, okay? So the recipe I'm gonna be giving you is a one times batch. So let's get to it. You're gonna need three large eggs, okay? About three fourths cup of sugar, one fourth cup of all purpose flour. You're gonna need one fourth teaspoon of salt, very important. Uh, you're gonna need three cups of milk, 
you can use uh, 2% if you have that. If you want to look into any other any other alternatives for that, I think you can too, okay? I think it would be fine. A little coconut milk, a little almond, a little woo woo. But I'm using whole milk. I'm going to do one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one 14 ounce can of sweet and condensed milk, okay? You're going to need one and one third cup of heavy whipping cream. You're going to need six tablespoons of powdered sugar. An eight ounce box of vanilla wafers, something like this, okay? You're gonna need four to five large bananas cut into one fourth inch slices, okay? Little thick coins, okay? Two and two pods of fresh vanilla bean. So keep that in mind. We have the extract in there, we have the bean. They're gonna serve two different purposes. They're gonna come in two different stages in this recipe. So on a small bowl, you're gonna to wanna to whisk together your eggs. Whisk all of them, set that aside. In a large uh, saucepan, you're gonna combine your sugar, flour, and salt. You're gonna whisk in the milk. You're gonna cook that over medium heat until it begins to thicken and just begins to boil. And then you're gonna slowly pour a small amount of that, mic that milk mixture inside of the eggs that we that we set aside earlier. And you're gonna wanna do this bit by bit. This stuff is hot. Technique that we're doing here is called tempering, okay? So you wanna acclimate the eggs to the heat of the milk. So you wanna do that bit by bit. If you were to pour all of it in there, egg would cook, it would be scrambled, it would be blah, blah, blah. That's not what we want. So we're learning things, okay? And we take your time. When you're cooking, you're cooking with love and it takes time. This is one of the most crucial things. If you mess this up, you're gonna have to start all over again. Then you're gonna pour the entire mixture of that into the pan and whisk constantly. So the eggs that you got in the bowl that are more or less the same te same temperature as the milk and flour mixture, you're gonna pour that bowl into the pan and you're gonna return that to the heat. So you're gonna be whisking it constantly. You're gonna bring that back to a gentle boil, medium low heat, and then reduce it to low. And you're gonna, while you're doing that, you're still gonna be stirring constantly. Stirring, stirring, stirring. You're gonna, you're gonna cook for another two minutes, about two, three minutes, and then you're gonna remove it completely from the heat, and that's when you add your vanilla extract. Keep in mind, when your pudding is cooling, it's gonna become thicker, all right? So it may not look go all the jazzy right then, but as it cools down, it'll begin to thick, thicken, so keep that in mind. All right, you're gonna allow that to cool for about 15 minutes, and you're gonna stir occasionally. So you watch a little TV, you watch a little center, you come back, you stir. You watch a little bit more center, you come back, and you stir. Once that gets to the cool room temperature, you're gonna add your can of sweet and condensed milk to that. You're gonna stir that up. All right, when your pudding gets to room temperature, we're gonna start making the whipped cream, okay? Super easy if you haven't made whipped cream. I'm gonna be using the KitchenAid. You're gonna add the heavy cream, you're gonna add the powdered sugar, and the vanilla bean split and de-seed it. You're gonna wanna scrape all those beans out of your vanilla bean pot, okay? And once you do that, don't throw away your vanilla beans. There's things you can do with that, all right? I like to make a, a syrup, a simple syrup, all right? Don't be wasteful. Vanilla beans are very expensive. You wanna just make sure you use every single bit of it. If you can't give them your hands on vanilla bean, you're perfectly fine. Put in more vanilla extract in it. Just making plain whipped cream. The choice is yours. Now that you got your heavy cream and your powdered sugar in the bowl with your vanilla beans split, all the seeds in there, you're gonna wanna whip that on medium high, okay? Or mix it with your hand, with your, with your wrist until you get uh, stiff peaks. You really wanna make sure you're putting this cool before you put the whipped cream inside of that because then it'll just turn into just like Jabba the Hutt. You don't want that, okay? Then you're gonna fold that, gently fold in the whipped cream in two parts. So you'll put a little bit, you'll whip it, then once that's uh, thoroughly incorporated, you'll take more, you take the rest of it, put it in there, mix it all up. Mix it all up! Now it's time to assemble, right? You got your bananas, you cut, you, you know, had those cut up, you got your cookies, you got your pudding. The longest part of this recipe is the pudding, all right? It'll take you about an hour and some change, I feel like just cooling. We could throw it in the fridge, expedite that. But now you're ready to assemble, okay? And an ungreased nine by 13 baking dish. I'm using like a trifle dish. Just this recipe to the size of your dish, okay? You're gonna make sure you're gonna wanna add a, a layer of just the vanilla wafer at the bottom, boom. Then banana slices, then you put in, and you're gonna just, uh, you're gonna repeat, boom, 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 boom. It's gonna be cookies, banana, pudding. 
cookies, banana pudding. Then sometimes I like to do cookie, then I like to do banana cookies pudding. You know what I'm saying? You switch it up like that, okay? However you want to do it, there's no, this is no rules to this. You can do it however you want, okay? This is your banana pudding. Cover and refrigerate ideally overnight. Um, the, the least you want to do is about five hours. Just to let the just let the flavors mellow out and let those cookies get nice and soft and creamy, okay? And just before you serve that, you're going to want to sprinkle a zest a little nutmeg on top of that. A little zesty, zesty, spicy, nicey, okay? You just serve that on up. All right, banana pudding tasting time, all right? But now we got both of them. We got the beautiful, luscious, creamy, vanilla beanie, eeny meeny, cookie see me, homemade one that I made. And we got the box jello pudding mix, a little nutmeg on both, all right? So I'm definitely, this one is definitely hitting me with the fumes of vanilla, all right? We'll go with the with the older gel with the older one first. It's super it's like super creamy from all the uh, additives and uh, and uh, stabilizers in it. So that's I can already see that off the off rip. Way more yellow from the yellow five, yellow six. It smells like banana. I got a good whiff of banana, a little vanilla. Cookies have softened up quite a bit. We like that. That was one of my uh, one of my brother's favorite ways of eating this. My older brother PJ, he would insist when my mom would make this. He would be like, "Look, I ain't eating it till a few hours later, or even the next day." So that way, the cookies could get creamy and cakey and good. I agree with him. You're right, PJ. You're right. Okay, so let's get into it. This one tastes good. Well, uh, I'm not even mad at it. it. Tastes like classic. Banana pudding, sign I ate. Going up. Cookies are good, soft. Kind of nice banana. Creamy, whole. That's what we want from banana pudding, guys. Okay? Now we're going to hit you with the with the one I made today. The fresher pudding. This had uh, probably like 15 minutes to sit before I decided to shoot. But it's fresh pudding. Cream. Can't We couldn't really see it on the camera. So my light's a little janky, but it's vanilla beans throughout the pudding, okay? Cookies still got a little crunch to it. Pudding, the pudding for this is just like light, fluffy, airy. It's like... <laughs> cookies still got a little crunch. Get a little banana in there. This one has a lot more depth. Definitely get that vanilla bean. It's hitting it right there. It's the nutmeg that I put on top. Hit me right in my nose, bro. Okay, the sweet and condensed milk. I don't know. It's just like complex and and, and like uh, there's levels to it. Okay, and I'm loving that. Okay, I wish honestly, I wish cookies were a little bit softer. I think once this sits in the fridge, it will probably be the perfect banana pudding. Okay, prep time. This took me about an hour and some change to make. Close to two hours with the cooling time. Uh, especially since I made a big bass like this. So yeah, that's what you're expecting. Was it worth it? Yes, I think it was worth it. If you're gonna put this together a grand style for like a dessert or something like that, and you're gonna go all out with the plating and, the, and, the, and decorating it, I think this one is definitely the, the one you should go to, okay? Honestly though, somebody just hit you up. Like, yo, we got a party, bring something, come through, woo woo woo. Impressed for time and classic banana pudding, all right. I'll I whip this up, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, we're on front, it's good, delicious. It'll people will be satisfied with this as well, okay. This was simply me paying homage to something I would eat as a kid, truly and, and, and purely, pure, purely. And I'm glad I could share this recipe, this elevated recipe with you guys, okay. This means a lot to me, family. My friends, I love you guys, okay? Mommy, I love you. You guys should make this recipe. I'm Rome. And if you want to find this recipe and many other recipes, check out Delicious New Quarterly Magazine in stores now. You see my face in the little baby round face, rotunded. You can see in, in some of the other chefs as well, okay? I love you guys. Bye.